Hey there guys, I'm back to another video. Today I'm here at a brand new retro video game store called Retro Island Gaming. They just opened up today, May 4th, and I'm about to go inside and check it out. I have no idea what they're gonna have. I know it's a pretty small store judging by the outside of the location, but yeah, let's check it out. And this is it. This is Retro Island Gaming. As you can see, it's pretty busy today because this is their grand opening. So obviously they have a lot of their friends and customers coming in and out And as, as I am one of the customers coming in. And yeah, I mean, it is a pretty small store, especially when you compare it to others on Long Island. But don't let the size of the store sort of deter you because literally wall to wall filled with video games and also in the middle of the store, they have magazines, Nintendo Powers, uh, anime slash manga. They have DVDs in the back of the store. Like they have a pretty nice wide selection of, of stuff that is not just video games, also video game related stuff and also, you know, like nerd adjacent stuff as well. Uh, and obviously they have Pokemon cards. I know that the owners of the store, they're big Pokemon fans. So they have really nice singles. They have the holographics. They have uh, even like binders filled with like cheaper singles as well so that you could look if you just ask to, you know, obviously take a look at them. Um, so yeah, I mean... For one thing that I really like about this store is not just the fact that they utilize the space very, very well, is also the fact that the selection of games, the fact that this, that this was their grand opening and I went around like five, six o'clock, they had a pretty nice selection of games. Like they had pretty much anything and everything that you would want from a video game store, even like the more uncommon games. And one of the pickups that I got, you'll see later on, is a game that I've been looking for for a while now. Uh, so I was very happy that they had it. But yeah, uh, this is a retro video game store that I will definitely revisit often just because of that fact alone is that their selection is very, very good and the way that they utilize these space is very well done. They even have like a, a, a very unique way to have their loose DS games and their loose Game Boy Advance games is that like they like al alphabetize it within like these little bins. They obviously ask you as the customer to make sure that they stay within those bins. So I wonder how long that'll sort of be kept up. But yeah, I mean, I've never seen a retro video game store do this because, you know, you're always like sifting through like buckets and bins of just like loose cartridges and like it can get annoying because you kind of need like a second person or, or like a desk next to you to like, you know, sort of sift through everything and actually make sure that, that, you know, you don't sort of run over something that you potentially may or may not want. So yeah, I mean, I really do like this system. I didn't really sift through any of the loose DS or 3DS games because I wasn't really looking for that at the moment. But even like their complete in box stuff like they had a lot of complete in box ds games and like i said their selection they had a lot of games that i find at other retro game stores that they just don't have like vita like they had a lot of vita games they had a lot of psp games psp you know it's obviously a little easier to collect compared to the vita but their psp selection was like insane i was like damn they have like a lot of games here nintendo gamecube gamecube is a very hard console to keep in stock because people especially today they're still looking for you know games games from their childhood or games that they missed out from that console because when the GameCube came out, not a lot of people really bought it because the PS2 was a thing, but back on track here. Uh, yeah, the store is just very well organized, very well done, very clean. Um, they even have like a little computer in the back where you could look through their website to see what they have in stock in their inventory uh they mainly want you to use it for like loose disc games that they potentially may have or even sports games and i believe they're graded trading cards as well so yeah that is very very cool that that they even have that system in there for the customers to use and they encourage you to use it as well and right next to, to that kiosk they have a little clearance desk pretty much of games that they feel like they have have to mark down for cosmetic reasons or whatever the case may be maybe like missing a manual or something like that but yeah uh these games are pretty much if you want to buy these games that are probably not in the best shape then go for it i mean they are pretty fairly priced and that and that's not just for their clearance stuff i feel like across the store they're pretty competitive with like what you would see online and whatnot maybe some things are a little higher than usual but you are getting that retail experience you are getting that sort of human interaction with them with the uh, owners of these stores so 
you know, you are paying for that experience as well. So yeah. And one of the best parts about this store in particular that I love personally is that all of their games that are $10.99 or less, pretty much $11 or under, they're buy two, get one. So I mean, me personally, I love I love when a store has a sale that is always ongoing and that kind of sale is right up my alley because there's a bunch of sort of common games across all of my collections that I am still looking out for. And I was able to pick up three for my collection today that I was just like, yeah, you know, like I've always wanted to buy this game, but you know, I don't really want to spend the $10 right now. You know what? I will spend $20 to get three of them. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So you know what? Why not? But they even have snacks and little goodies here that if you want a drink or something sweet, you can always buy it up here. And yeah, I mean, it was pretty busy because this is the grand opening. So my footage, you know, was kind of limited in, in terms of how I wanted to film. But you know what? I'm still getting used to, to this whole vlogging thing. So I apologize if this B-roll and sort of what you're looking at is not the best footage here, but I'm still getting the hang of it. And hopefully when I visit other retro video game stores on Long Island, it'll get better. But let's get into the pickups. All right, so that was Retro Island Gaming. Hopefully my commentary was good enough to give you guys an idea of my thoughts on the store so far, but let's just talk about the pickups. So anytime I go to a retro game store, I always check the Xbox 360 section because I'm always looking for this game. And it's not for me. Uh, I'm not a huge Rock Band Guitar Hero guy, but my brother, he has been looking to complete his Rock Band and Guitar Hero collection. And this is the last game that he needs. And I've been looking out for it for a while now, and I never find it at any game store. If they had it, I would have bought it by now. Uh, I don't care about the price, because usually it's about like a $25 to $30 game. That's exactly what they had it as, $25.99. And yeah, uh, I pretty much bought it on site, or I had it in my hands on site, because I was just like, I need this game finally and i'm glad that they had it they had a pretty nice selection of stuff especially for their grand opening day they had a large variety of games and also sealed games and yeah the store was pretty cool especially for the size of it uh but yeah and then i decided to take advantage of their constant sale that they got going on uh pretty much any game that is 10.99 or less is buy two get one so i think that that's a pretty good strategy especially since it allows them to move a lot of those cheaper games a lot quickly because if someone's gonna buy like a one cheap game well now they're gonna be more inclined to buy two more because it's like well i could get one more and a additional one for free it is gonna be hard to sort of find games that are exactly 10.99 out I will admit, because some of their games were like $11.99 and, you know, like $14.99 and all this other stuff. So, not for me rambling. Let's talk about the games that I picked up. Uh, these are games that I have been wanting to add to my collection for a while now. But, you know, they're like $10, $12, $13 games. Uh, but they had them and I was like, all right, sure, why not? So, the first one is Star Wars The Force Unleashed. And this is a game that I have always wanted when it was around during the heyday and I just never bought it. I mean, it seems like a pretty cool idea that to give Darth Vader a apprentice and you sort of are that apprentice and you're gonna be playing as them. So yeah, I excited to check this one out and add it to the collection as well. Uh, and then I was walking around for a bit and if you guys watched my last pickup video that I did, um, me and my girlfriend, we bought a Lego Star Wars game on the Wii. So I decided to buy another one on the Wii. That is Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. I believe this is based off of the show because Ahsoka is on the cover. Uh, she doesn't look that great, but you know what? The other three, they look great. You know, we got Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Anakin. And because it is May the 4th, why not? So yeah, this game's like dirt cheap on pretty much every single platform. I just got it on the Wii because that's what they had it on. And I wasn't going to... Uh, sort of look around the PS3 section a, a second or third time to look for this game because their Lego section for the Wii was pretty big and obviously these spines stick out a lot more. So yeah, I got this for $7.99, but this was the free game. Uh, so I pretty much paid nothing for this. And then the Star Wars First Unleashed game was $8.99. I just realized I picked up two Star Wars games on May the 4th. I honestly had no intention of doing that, uh, but these were just the games that kind of stuck out for me. Uh, and then the last game that I picked up here to, to make it buy to get one is Zombie U. And I got it for $8.99. Uh, this is a Wii launch title, uh, but I didn't pick it up uh, at that time. Ever since then, it's been ported onto other platforms and everything like that. So 
yeah, uh, another game to add to the Wii U collection uh, that's on the cheaper side. So in total of everything after tax, it came out to $47.75. Not too bad, especially since because uh, I pretty much got four games here for 50 bucks, which, you know, uh, granted the titles, some of them are not the greatest, but you know what? They're going to be fun games that I'm going to be able to play uh, with my girlfriend and or by myself because I've just been wanting to add them to the collection for a while now. So yeah, that was Retro Island Gaming. I hope you guys, if you guys are on Long Island and you guys are in the area, check the store out. This is not like a sponsor or anything like that. I genuinely think that it is like a pretty cool store and I think that it is very bold of them to get into the market even though that there's a lot of gaming stores on Long Island. I think what they're doing, it's very clean, it's very nice uh, and I'll probably have more to say about them in the future. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have not already, you can subscribe. I put new videos up on Saturdays. You can follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at TV Sony Gaming. And you can check out my podcast called the Travis and Damien Podcast. We talk about games, movies, and anime every other week. And yeah, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching this video once again. And I'll see you guys next time with more videos.